Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for coming to my channel and watching my video. I know YouTube is sabotaging this channel very heavily with the shadow ban, but I thank you for coming to this channel and watching and supporting my videos and giving your feedback. I really appreciate you all for that. Now, with that being said, I want to, this is, a, this is pretty much, I want to make a follow-up to the video I did about the Japanese women. Now, I shared videos about my past before because I have nothing to hide from my subscribers when it comes to my past. I've never done anything criminal or anything like that, but I'm showing as a black man how I've grown throughout the years because the one constant that has remained is the fact that I've always loved black women. I've always been attracted to them. I've never not been attracted to them. I grew up watching movies and television shows where I saw the black family together, where I saw black women and black men in loving relationships, not the explosive relationships that we see on TV nowadays. Because that is part of an agenda, whether you believe it or not, it is part of an agenda to break up black people. Just like there are certain outlets on YouTube and other forms of social media that do their best to break up black people and continue initiating and going forward with this gender war that is only going to have us lose in the end. With that being said, if you would have told me that I would have been married to an African woman later on in my life, I would have laughed at you because I would have never believed you. I've always been attracted to black women, but I never really thought of myself being with an African woman. But in 2015, I was going through a breakup for over two years with someone that I was with for five years prior to that. And I started watching a lot of Nollywood movies because I started to notice that there had been a lot of swirling going on. Not a lot, I should say, but there were elements of swirling taking place on TV. And, and even though these things did happen in the past, they didn't happen as much as they were, hap as they were happening now. And it really got to me that I started to see too many explosive relationships like, you know, these live action um, shows that would come on VH1, especially with black couples and the explosion of the relationship not being a very healthy one. So I wanted to see my people, black woman, black man, in loving and romantic relationships. Now, you can call me a romantic person, and I'm probably one of the few black men that will come on camera and admit this, but I have a lot of romance in me. I have a lot of passion in me for the black woman. I'm a romantic person by heart because when I was younger, I grew up watching soul poppers with my grandmother and my mom. You know, soul poppers like One Night to Live, Oh My Children, General Hospital. As I got older, I watched a show that was short-lived called Sunset Beach, and it was also another show that lasted for a while when I was in my early 20s called Passions. Okay, so... I've always had this romantic side to myself and I'm not afraid to show it. I've talked about it before on camera. I've shown you many videos and put my romantic feelings into those videos about black women. So that's never going to change at all. And my wife knows that firsthand. But the one thing about me that I never thought is that I would be with an African woman to begin with. Because in 2015, getting back to my point, I started watching Nollywood movies. Nollywood movies, for those who don't know, if you, sh if you don't know, you should know are African movies from Ghana or Nollywood. Well, I should, yeah, Ghanaian movies are different. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking up already, my bad. Well, Nollywood is basically like a Hollywood version of Africa, and it's in Nigeria. But there are also movies from Ghana and other African nations and stuff like that as well. But you will see these movies with African men and African women in romantic relationships. Some deal with cheating, others deal with family drama, and uh, they're very realistic the thing I notice about a lot of these movies is that they just take place in, in the house most of the time. You'll go from one person's house to another, but they discuss like very important things that have to do with family issues and stuff like that. There, I've never truly seen a lot of swirling at all. They have done a couple of movies and television shows where they try to promote that propaganda. But the thing that I like about Nigeria and these other African nations, despite we having some swirlers over there as well, is the fact that the majority of the people that live over there are you like you and me. They're black. They don't consider themselves black, they don't call themselves black, but they know they are. But what they do is they don't really promote that bullshit over there like it's promoted over here. And I don't understand to this day why we have black women and black men who know the history of what we have gone through and what our, what our ancestors, well, we, what, I should say what we're going through now and what our ancestors went through back in the day that you would still find these people attractive when they're still showing you hatred right now. Okay, I don't understand where your mindset is. I don't know if you grew up watching the Disney Channel. You damn sure couldn't have grown up in my time because if you grew up in my time, you would know better than that. But I fell in love with African women after watching a lot of Nollywood movies. I even went on to a website called Afro Romance that was, I, it might still be around. I don't know because I don't use it anymore because I found my soulmate. But I went on there and I was looking at some African women, beautiful women, just like the one on your screen right now. And 
I checked out this one woman and her name was M-O-I, I believe that was Moi, like a French name. And I told her she had the most beautiful eyes and she had like the same kind of skin tone like this one, but she had like a red, she had red hair. And I'm telling you, some of these black women, some of these African women can actually pull off these different hair colors. And some of these hair colors that these African women have are actually their real hair. Like some of these African people actually have blonde hair and it's their real blonde hair. We, we do know that we do have some of them that are into putting on wigs as well. But this woman looks so freaking beautiful and I messaged her. And when I got a message back from her, I was like a little kid being told, like a little kid being told that I did something right and being rewarded for it. I had the biggest smile on my face and she made me so happy. We started talking and we talked for so long. It was one night we talked for like about maybe five to six hours and one night I was home and we talked like from 2 a.m. all the way into the next day in the afternoon. I swear to God, she will tell you. She probably won't because she won't get on camera. She's shy and everything, but I'm not trying to bore you guys with this, but basically this is how I became, you know, deep into African culture and married my wife. And I love African women just as much as I love black women. I think African women are very fashionable. They're very gorgeous and sexy. They know how to carry themselves. They know how to manage your money. Some of them, you're going to say, you want to say some African people are scammers. Yes, we know that. There are a lot of different types of scammers out there. But this woman particularly is not. And um, I'm very happy with her. And I feel like I've been blessed by God to have her. And she loves the fact that I share my love of black women on this platform. She's very proud of me, and I'm happy to know that she is because the love that I have for her, the love that I was raised by from my mom, had just given me more incentive to feel this way towards black women in general. I'm so happy to have a wife who feels the same way that I do. She's not hateful or anything, but she once told me that she would never date anyone outside of her race, especially a colonizer because she would feel like she's a slave and I respect that about her you know um, this video is kinda I guess getting gibberishy and getting kinda just you know I'm just going on and on but I'm gonna stop it in a moment but just this is just me basically sharing my love of all women in the African diaspora I'm glad I have my wife I'm glad that God gave her to me I'm glad that I'm happy and the reason why I show so much love to black women is because I've always loved black women. Despite me making videos telling you that I've had infatuations with Japanese women because of anime, my love has never changed for black women. It's only gotten stronger over the years, and as I've matured, I left that past behind me. And I've only had eyes for black women for the last 12 years. Really got heavy into you know, African culture in 2015, watching movies with Tonto Decay, who's a beautiful actress. I put some of her um, pictures on this particular channel. Adasua Atomi, who's another one who's married to an African man, very beautiful African woman. Um, I just, I, I'm, I think that 2015 was just my revelation year. And it's the year that I truly woke up and I started talking about black issues and loving black people more than I ever have. And I'm glad that I could share this video with somebody. I know it'll probably get dislikes because there are people out there that just want to be hateful for no reason and want to dislike me because I'm showing love to black women. But for the black women and the black men that have sat down and watched this video for the last eight minutes, I'm about to end it in a moment. I want to thank you very much. African women, African women are absolutely beautiful and I'm going to continue to showcase their beauty as well as African American women because... As far as I'm concerned, you're all black women and you're all gorgeous and sexy and you're all attractive and damn, I couldn't live life without you. Now, of course, I'll be called a simp because black man showing love and a black man talking about romance and stuff like that. Oh, he got to be a simp. Yeah, OK. But see, the funny thing is that the same people that will call me a simp and, you know, want to make fun of me, which is completely fine because I don't give a damn if you make fun of me or not. These are the same people that are going to be alone while I'm still married to my wife because I'm doing the right thing as a man, providing for her, and even though she's working as well, yes, I'm providing for her and showing her love and showing her passion and being romantic with her. That's what women like. Black women like it as well. If you think they don't, then you're stupid. So you can go in there and ridicule me all you want, but you'll still be alone. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm glad that I could share my love with you as well, and I will continue to do so on the channel. Thank you very much, and be safe always. You're the best.